Welcome everybody to College Basketball presented by 2K Sports. This should be a fun one. We'll watch the UCLA Bruins in this one as they go up against the Oklahoma Sooners. Here with Greg. But the ones that have made it have left their mark on the league because they typically were dominant as college players. Good on the shot. Boy, they've gone on this run and ball movement has been a big key. It, it really has, Parker. The Bruins leading. Shot from the top of the key. And another basket for UCLA. And the timing Junior has on the pull-up. Love watching him stick it to the D. Now here's Barrett. Defense right on him. And here's UCLA. Junior guarded by Barrett. And they pick up two. Their defense just hasn't been able to slow them down. And that's a big reason why they're trailing, surrendering too many easy baskets. Floats one up. The rebound by Jones. And the Oklahoma Sooners, a program on the upswing. They've had deeper runs in the time tournament. Out, the future is looking bright for Sooner fans. Started. Time call here. Junior left side. He sinks the 11-footer. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the Here's team. Bailey. To end the run. Adams with the rebound. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. A nice shot by Junior. Boy, I tell you, if Junior gets a chance more to do some more. damage. Yeah, you know, it's great counting numbers. That's one thing. But can you create in the flow? Can you get quality shots? It does make a difference. And the Sooners, you guys, known more for their football program, of course, but their fans do love all. And it's off the back rim. No good. Looking back at the attention Young commanded in college, you simply couldn't leave him alone. And you know Young is poised. We've I pass. Think. We've come to expect from him. Junior outside. Pass to Pavin. Junior. And that one drops for him. A contributor to any team's success is the chemistry on the floor between the players. Not going to go that time. Their rebounding has been off the charts today, guys. Reason number one this game is out of hand. Exactly, Clark. Their lead is not surprising given their advantage on the backboard. From another zip code on that one. If Junior is hitting these, man, he could be a very high draft pick. There's the lob to the hoop. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Finished off the break. There isn't going to be any shortage of hustle on the break from Junior. First chance he gets, he's going to bust it down the court and convert for the team. Davidson outside. Adams with the steal. McGee with the ball. Guarded now by Norris. And Junior gets it to go. Well, I'll tell you what, they're turning this game into a drag race, sprinting out for easy, fast break baskets. And, and on a really nice run here. And defensively, you've got to force them to operate in the half court. It allows you to put bodies on bodies. The spectacle of college basketball is certainly one of its big draws. These young athletes are giving 100% effort for every minute of the game. That's why I think you get such an exciting pace for these games at this level. These players are really hungry to go out there and prove themselves on the big national stage. Yeah, every player on the floor is looking to have a career-making performance. Who knows? Could be some NBA scouts out there in the crowd tonight. Davidson with it, working on Adams. Davidson, no good. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Exactly. But at the other end, it's one bucket after the other. One shot. And so it's the Bruins taking care of business in this one. And without question, Junior was the driving force. He set the tone with his energy and effort, and his teammates followed in route to a blowout victory. And guys, I think we all caught a glimpse of just how special this young man can be. Games like this one will certainly catch the attention of NBA scouts. And that'll wrap it up for us. Until next time, good night.
Rockford College basketball. And we have an exciting matchup on the way. We'll watch the UCLA Bruins in this one as they go up against the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Along with analysts Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, I'm Forrest Hunt. Tonight... Sheldon in the high post. Kelly. Sheldon. He's covered by Evans. Here's Junior outside. Connects from three-point range. And it's Mills missing. And here's UCLA. Junior from deep. The basket good off the assist from Thompson. And he found the perfect spot behind the Too long on the shot. The Bruins with the lead. Let's it go from the wing. And again, it's UCLA converting. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's taking the lid off. Junior with it. Ten points for him. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting five for seven. They're really Texas Tech again missing. Here's the Bruins with the ball. They held a 12-point lead earlier. A nice shot by Junior. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make. get it to go. Pass to Junior. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the line to try and make it a three-point play. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. That's got to be job number one right now. Nothing easy on the inside. They're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Butler, Kelly covering. Outside, Mills. Evans. Outside, Mills. Four on the clock. Tries to break the ice. And the rebound goes to the Bruins. You know, if you're going to be good, consistently good, your lifeline is recruiting in the college game. And the Red Raiders have done a fantastic job recruiting. Really, it's one of the best runs for the school ever. Getting NBA-ready talent goes a long way in building a program. Red Raiders also landed All-Americans for the first time recently. This staff has done a great job of bringing in world-class talent to love it. Outside, Neely. Evans, Livingston from outside. Sheldon grabs the miss. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I'm about as shocked as you are, Clark. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Now here is Evans, covered by Junior. Offensively, the struggles continue. 0 for 5 to start the half. Pass to Jones. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And now we can see them really working it inside. Yeah, Clark, quality looks at the rim. That's fueling this run. Now a timeout called by Texas Tech. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken... Here's the Bruins with the ball. The drive by Junior. Soft touch off the glass. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. And here's Junior. Here's Martin. Back to Junior. From the top of the key. Yes, that goes. Solid by Junior on the pick and roll. And so it's the Bruins taking care of business in this one. And without question, Junior was the driving force. He set the tone with his energy and effort, and his teammates followed en route to a blowout victory. And guys, I think we all caught a glimpse of just how special this young man can be. Games like this one will certainly catch the attention of NBA scouts. And that concludes our broadcast. Thanks for being with us. Catch you next time.
job, Brandon. Coach. Nice game, Coach. Couple questions. And score a point. No, Talk to some, the players. I got next some time. answers for you. I Alex. got you <laughs> next time, Red. Junior. Alex, you will be wanting Junior. this one day. Got a minute? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Great game. All right. Junior, this has been a nice stretch for you and the team. Great wins. And what you've been doing out there personally is comparable to players like Zion and Anthony Davis. <laughs> you've been a monster every time you touch the ball. Uh, thanks, Alex. I'm um, humbled to be mentioned in the same sentence as those guys. But honestly, I'm just trying to be myself out there. Those two are in a league of their own. What would you say have been the keys to success for the team? Is it longer hours in the gym, extra time in the film room? Uh, it's been a combination, really. We've been putting in the extra work, and it's allowed us to play confident and free. And I've gotten a lot of clean looks out there, and that's mostly because of them. Like Kareem said, one man can be a crucial ingredient to a team, but one man cannot make a team. Hmm. It's an amazing quote, and well said. We love players who know their history. Uh, thanks so much for your time, Junior. You're well on your way to becoming one of the top players in the country. Congrats. <laughs> thanks, Alex. Well played. Does that mean you're going to ease up now? Oh, no. No, no, that, that, it's been two games? There's a lot of story left to write. Like a whole novel. Thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Yo, I'm not getting ghosted. She's on the road. Then you on the road too. All right, how many days since she texted you last? Exactly. Delete her number and free your mind. We got a big game coming up and you don't need this eating you up. I'm gonna be fine by game time. <laughs> See? <laughs> it ain't her. <laughs> nope, it ain't. Hey man, you letting the noise in. It'll bury you. Yeah, I feel like the media's out to get me that. Alex Williams? She's doing her job. No, nah, it feels personal. But hey, even if it is, if you were to ask her or any other reporter to stop, you think they would? Nope. Exactly. All right, that's what you gotta understand. It's relentless. Every single game, the fans, the media, the scouts, all you can do is play through it. Leave it all out there. How'd I hear you, coach? Uh, hey, hey, hold on. Hear me out. You got to get out of your head. It's time to step up. This team needs a leader right now. Let's go, Junior. Welcome, everyone, to our presentation of college basketball. We have what promises to be a great game ahead of us. Moments away, it'll be the Michigan State Spartans going up against the UCLA Bruins. And here's Junior. as it takes a nice bounce off the iron. The size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is, that's a tough shot. And without a doubt, Michigan State, a huge producer of NBA talent. Some huge names from the program throughout the years. You can always count on them to develop things. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he'll go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And he's got his first opportunity at the line here tonight. They've built a very nice lead. And doesn't show any sign of slowing down. 
Jr. from deep. Drains it from beyond the arc. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Now here's Webb. To end the run. Off the mark. His first miss of the game. He's one for two. Here's Junior outside. And another three for UCLA. And how about the performance we're seeing from him? Not one miss on the day. Paying dividends. His obsession to watch film leads to him being a step ahead of the defense. Junior with the bucket. And he has his fingerprints. And here's Junior. 25 points in the game. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Has been smooth. And that efficiency, Greg, as you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. This game, no doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Here's Junior. And a great assist by Thompson as that one goes in. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And so it's the Bruins taking care of business in this one. And without question, Junior was the driving force. He set the tone with his energy and effort, and his teammates followed in route to a blowout victory. And guys, I think we all caught a glimpse of just how special this young man can be. Games like this one will certainly catch the attention of NBA scouts. And for Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, I'm Forrest Hunt. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. All right, gentlemen, that's a good job. That's a complete team win. We have no easy wins in this conference. We know that. But we are right where we want to be, and we are playing our brand of basketball, which is what, Red? Uh, togetherness. You asking and telling me. Uh, I I'm telling you, Coach. Red, every team is about togetherness. He's talking about the details, Red, the small things. He literally says it every practice. You do? Oh, boy. Looks like somebody's going to lose some playing time next game. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you joking, right? Hey, Junior, listen. I asked you to step up and be a leader. And that's exactly what you did. Your dad would be proud, man. Thanks, Coach. Enjoy it. Coach is hilarious, right? I don't think he was joking, man. No matter what I do, Coach, Alex Williams, the fans, they're on me. Good or bad, it's time to get to me. So don't let him. Yeah, it's not that easy. You're the star of one of the best basketball teams in the country. It's not supposed to be easy. Mm -hmm. Is that supposed to make me feel better? It's not my job to make you feel better. Just wish you were around more. Is it just me, or are we talking past each other? Why were you ghosting me? What? I wasn't ghosting you. I was busy playing soccer around the world. Okay, and what happens if this gets bigger and I make it to the league? Well, then I will uh, sit courtside at every game, and when you're on the road, I'll lay in bed and wonder if you're okay or how I can make you feel better. Yeah, I wouldn't even want that. Are you sure? I want you exactly as you are. But at your beck and call. You want someone to rub your back and tell you it's all going to be okay, Junior. Maybe Hendrix Cobb will always be better than you. Maybe you won't win a championship. It's not the end of the world. This isn't helping. Or get drafted. I don't know. It's this is not, not helping. Well, it's up to you to define the outcome. No one else. Get it. I think I need to leave. Yeah, you should. You know what? Fine. You're right. It is up to me, and I'm leaving. I'm done with the school. I'm declaring right now. Look, I know it's an emotional decision, but I can't be here anymore. So thanks for everything. Mine's made up.
There's no way I can get you to change your mind, can I? Wish you best of luck. Thanks, Coach. Why don't you get drafted? So that's funny to you? You notice how all your questions about the result never the work? It was a simple question. Why do you think I didn't get drafted? I mean, for real. You tell me. I know you had two knee surgeries in college. Nah, it's excuses. I don't know, you stayed all four years? I wanted to get my degree, try again. You were captain of your team, conference player of the year, all, all team nice defense. All nice awards, things I've earned, things I'm actually proud of. But the NBA scouts agenda, they don't care about all that. I mean, sure, you got leadership, character, defensive motor, all that helps, that's real. Think about those other things. Well, what position do I play? You're a point guard. Yeah, and with my size, my body frame, can I play anything else? And what about my leaping ability? You can dunk. Can I dunk like those good dunkers, the good dunkers you even see at the street games? I mean, is it explosive? A word they love to use. Okay, so you had some of it, but not all of it. I mean, from my perspective, no, but from their perspective, yeah. And when a GM goes on record and says, you're his guy, and he says that to his team, his whole career and yours are inextricably linked. Okay, if I become a star, so do they. If I wash out, same. So they've all agreed on this checklist, this protocol, right? If Duke doesn't check all the boxes, then some other guy does. So they draft the other guy. Draft the other guy. So at least they can say he checked all the boxes. Yeah. The fault goes back on the players, not them. Okay, that's why you gotta understand this mentality, son. You gotta make sure you check all the boxes for them. Okay, this draft cycle business, this is a chess match. Okay, if you're not ready for that, you are bound to fail. That's the setup. Whew, now most people on the outside won't see it. But this, my friend, is where the draft begins. Suit shop? Mm-hmm. Messaging is everything. Okay, so is there a wrong choice here? I mean, think of it like a spectrum. One end, you got Russell Westbrook, loud on and off court. On the other, you got Kawhi, quiet on and off court. Are you one of them or are you in the middle? What you decide will help teams get an idea of what you're really all about. Are you ready, Junior? Yeah. You ready, Junior? Yeah. Let's do it. To the sounds, she frequents beat bad it. Beautiful choice. We'll put this together and have it for you right away. Thank you. Listen, Art. I haven't had a chance to bring oh, it up. Man, it's so good, I already know. Well, you do? Yeah. Harper and her team run a top sports agency for a reason. They contacted me as soon as they contacted you. You're not upset? Why would I be? Someone take the meeting. I want you to. Root out the specifics. Look, just because you sign with them doesn't mean we're a done deal. We can all work together. Okay. I'm in theater of plan first. Here's the line. Oh.
I'm the associate agent, so when you sign with the agency, I'll be here to support Harper on the day-to-day. -day. I'm sorry, I completely spaced on your name you're walking in. <laughs> it's fair, you have a lot going on. It's Layla. Layla. Layla, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Have a seat. Yeah, yeah. Junior, hello. So excited to have you here. <laughs> I'm Harper Dell. Thank you so much for coming down to hear our pitch. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, and thank you for taking the time out to meet me. Absolutely. This is the moment. You have worked your entire life to get here, and we are here to support you in that journey to the next step where you start getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to tell you, we have the deepest roster of NBA talent in the world and brand partnerships with every company you can name. Our goal is long-term. <laughs> we want to create lifelong relationships that keep you living large now and comfortable in your retirement. In these notes already rests the shoe contract of your dreams. <laughs> you ever thought about acting? No. Uh, <laughs> I never really considered it, but I'm, you know, I'm into it if it makes sense. Yeah. Multiple commercial offers and scripts for interesting indies that will help groom you for bigger projects once you get your feet wet. Um, all of that sounds really good to me. Yeah, but right now, I just want to focus on the draft, solidify my position, and you know, find the team where my skills fit best. Well, we have relationships with all the teams. We can gather intel to get you the private team workouts that you but want. Maybe not the exact team I want to play for. Anything is possible. But it is still a draft where teams can and will do what they see fit for their organization. OK, so that's a no. <laughs> Chaos exists. We try and mitigate that for you, but it does exist. And I'm not going to lie to you just to get you to sign. I want us to start off in a place where we can be honest with each other. You know what? This is feeling way too formal. Way too formal. Hang on. <sighs> That's better. Much better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I grew up in the Salinas Valley. It's about two hours south of San Francisco. John Steinbeck was from there. Do you know it? Uh, no, not that area <laughs> specifically, okay. no. <laughs> my parents died when I was young, so my grandmother raised us on her ranch. We grew broccoli, lettuce, cauliflower. It was not glamorous, but we worked and survived. And Layla? Oh, I was uh, raised right down the road from you and Union. Oh, so as you represent. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um, my dad bailed on us when I was three, and my mom did everything in her power to make it work. We know what it's like to want more. We willed ourselves to be where we are, just like you did. There's a vision for you here. Jordan, LeBron, a bigger corporate vision. Companies love them because their messaging connects to the public across all demographics. And that's how we want to position your endorsements going forward. Universal appeal. Okay. But it, it feels like there's a catch coming. No, there's no catch. There is a little reality. Archie, he's a good guy, and we know that he brought you here, which is why we want to provide him with a generous finder's fee as a parachute. But for us, we need you free and clear of all old attachments. Your future depends on an uncluttered vision. All new NBA players have to go through these difficult transitions. So it's you guys or him? From our perspective, it's just the way it has to be. You should hear what he has to say. Maybe he really is the right fit for you and for your vision. But for us, it's one or the other. I don't like it. Not one bit. We're fine. I'm not afraid of a little competition. But her pitch on the corporate take is a flat idea. You have personality and you have an opinion. Your boy Hendrix Cobb, Harden, Embiid, they're doing just fine being who they are. That's how we seal your endorsements, big and bold. But doesn't that idea risk losing endorsements if I'm seen as controversial? Yes, yes it will. But you'll gain others, others that share your vision and your story. Former football player, Newark. Your dad, you're the underdog 
That stuff is powerful, so right, use so you it. You contract available for me now? No, I don't. But I will. It's called trust, Junior. Uh, she says she got a movie deal available for deals? me now. Deals? Or ideas where deals may be? I don't know. It seems to me like you should. These big agencies, man, they, they pack a punch nowadays. She may have a little bit more firepower than me right now. But I know who you are. I know where you come from. And I know what you want. As if it were my own story. But fine, if you want to walk away from all of that, so be it. It's either her or me. You choose. Listen, uh, things haven't always been smooth between us, but I know you, good and bad. Yeah, I, I, I could dig it. And the fact that you're from here means something. I know I'm making the right choice. Thank you, Junior. I won't let you down. I know you won't, man. <laughs> <laughs> here. Yes, sir. So you're projected mid to late first. That's an interesting spot to be in, Junior. I mean, on one hand, you could slide right out the draft. The other, you could step up, snatch a spot in the lottery. Wait, hold on. Players are falling out of the draft from the spot I'm in? I mean, it's all projections until the media hits you and the combine game starts firing. I mean, the next step in this process for any player is the personality evaluation test. So they put you in a room with an interviewer who asks you a bunch of probing questions about yourself. <laughs> all right, so. I'll just be honest and let them know who I am. Yeah, but you also want to be aware of what they want to hear. Integrity, character, leadership. You keep that in the back of your mind when you're asking questions, you'll do just fine. <laughs>